a chance to try a new restaurant or visit one of your favorites, you still have one day left. Charleston's Restaurant Week ends tomorrow, one week after it began last Sunday. Our Emily Johnson checked in with some participating restaurants to find out how the week affects businesses and is now joining us live. Emily, I know we got to actually try a spot last weekend for Restaurant Week, and I do not regret it. We had some good food. <laughs> I can definitely agree with you on that, Meredith. I mean, we had a delicious three-course meal at Rudy Royal, and we didn't even get a chance to try the over 60 participating restaurants in the week throughout the Low Country. And they told me that they have seen a significant increase in customers over this last week. Charleston Restaurant Week takes place twice a year, once in September and another in January, to bring more attention to businesses during a slow time of the year. Restaurant Park and Grove and Mex One Coastal Katina tells us that they have seen a significant increase in customers bringing new faces and familiar ones out to try new special menus. Most of the participating locations create a multi-course menu with a fixed price to make some more expensive restaurants a little bit more accessible. It really helps us kind of boost our sales a little bit by bringing more customers through the doors. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a nice, as a Charleston local, it's also nice to have the opportunity to be tempted to go and explore different restaurants as well. So like I myself has gone gone to a different restaurant like each restaurant each restaurant week um, just so that I can you know get a deal and <laughs> um, and yeah explore different places. Both restaurants told me that they are extremely thankful for all of the people that have came out this last week and that it also gives the chefs an opportunity to maybe make something new or use a different type of technique that they haven't used before. Reporting live in Charleston, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.